Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different style video if you aren't new here. Uh, I want it to be a little bit more casual than usual, but my B-roll is going to be in the original style. If you are here for the review, please go to this timestamp. It's going to go straight into the review. I know time is money, so if you just want to watch the review and not a lot of chit chat, please go to that timestamp. And of course, I'll link everything down below in my affiliate links. As you can tell from the title, this is gonna be the far, like the actual review of the freaking Victor Rebecca Beauty Concealer. I did the B-roll right when I got their concealer. I was on a holiday, so I got my concealer when I came back from my holiday. I did ask the brand to send it to me early so I could take it with me and review it before it came out. But you know, I'm a small creator and uh, you know, it, it's not that the brand has to listen to my request or anything, so I, I get it. But I do wish sometimes that like as a smaller content creator, the like these bigger brands would help someone out, <laughs> like help me get this content out earlier because with a kid, with a job, sometimes it's just, it'd be really nice if they just help me. I don't mind paying for my stuff but just logistically really helped me with my schedule. Anyway, that's just a rant on its own. I've been testing out the concealer, so that's really nice. I have like proper thoughts on it and like a proper opinion on it, not a first impression. I've worn it a few times. I have my little bag with me. I'm in my bedroom. My kid is watching TV in the other room, so we might be interrupted and this video might never go live. Wanted to say I have a lot of reviews. Want Like I want to review a lot of things. I have the new Lisa Eldridge collection. I have everything that West Montelier came out this year as well. And I never get these videos out because I'm a little overwhelmed. Like I'm still trying to buy a house. I recently started a new job. And honestly, like have, for you guys that have been here, you guys know I've been going through this divorce and it's kind of like this co-parenting thing is not really for me. There's just a lot of stress and drama. I've just not been in the right headspace to film. I want my channel to reflect like a fun side of me. I still love makeup, but sometimes I'm just not really into filming. Anyway, the B-roll that I did was from like several days ago when I started um, using it. It was my first impression. We'll show you in the B-roll how this came packaged. It was very classic Victoria Beckham Beauty style. It comes in a like pen stilo type of deal. So my experience with something like this is the YSL Touche Claw, you know, high cover concealer. So I'll probably uh, talk a little bit about the high cover concealer uh, as well at the end of this video, just because that's my experience with a stilo like this one. I really enjoy this um, applicator style. The only thing I don't enjoy, and that's also with my other you know, high cover concealer is that it's very smooth and it's pretty difficult to open after you've used, like applied your skincare with your hands. But let's talk a little bit about what makes this one special from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is the concealer pen with TFC 8. The moment I saw this TFC 8 formulation, I knew it's going to be an Augustina's Bader collaboration, which hikes up the price a lot. Augustina's Bader or Bader is a skincare, high-end skincare brand luxury astronomical pricing uh has a cult following so a lot of people stand by the products um some most people find it a little bit too expensive so there's definitely a very specific market to the augustine's beta line the moment this was infused with this technology and the name was slapped on you knew it was going to be expensive and i paid 75 euros for it but the pricing of pounds and dollars also somewhere on the screen because i know i have an international crowd watching there is a sort of shade matcher on the website i personally hated it like it gave me lm1 which makes sense because i am like light medium in every single other brands like shade matching um but the model kind of looked she looked uh, way darker than i was so i um if i could go back i probably would have chosen l1 so light one with light with neutral undertones but l1 is the light medium with neutral warm undertones i just wanted to put that out there if you are my shade buddy this is going to be a shade match to my body not necessarily for my concealer. I want my concealer to be like one shade uh, lighter, kind of brighten up the other eyes, but um, that's not this. This is very close to my skin 
color. It has a six month shelf life, which I was pretty shocked by. That's very uh, low. And I don't want to calculate price per gram, but there's two point or milliliter. There's 2.4 milliliters in here. And with the 75 euro price tag, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to say that loud. It's made in Italy. So it's going to be probably high performing formula. The description says conceal to reveal high performance, double impact formula. It gives you an exquisite second skin, light to medium coverage, which um, I will say off the bat, it's a light to medium coverage. It says the concealer has a skincare infused in it and it should improve your complexion in four weeks. There should be an eight hour nourishing veil spot conceal with a radiant real skin finish in 16 flexible shades. It reduces the appearance of fine lines, dark circles and decreases eye puffiness, which, you know, at this price point, you're kind of wanting to do it all so that'd be nice and it should improve the appearance of hyperpigmentation my expectation was i'll probably like it um but it's a little bit too expensive for a concealer that was my expectation so let's get into just everything i think before i'll put the concealer on like in the demo i'm gonna use my uh, golden primer this is the priming moisturizer cell rejuvening priming moisturizer in the shade golden this is one of those products like the concealer when i bought this i was like it's going to be way too expensive i think this little bottle's like 90 euros and i was like yeah i'll buy it once to review for you guys mama, do. mama is even on film for her youtube channel oh. okay. <laughs> I wish it's a bad shoot <laughs> Yeah. It's a film, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. That was a little interruption for my son. But um, what I was saying is that I really enjoy... I really enjoyed the cell priming moisturizer uh, idea. I don't know. It gives my skin this beautiful glow. It gives a little bit of that golden um, like tint. It's not really like deepening up my skin color, but it's just a really nice way to make my skin look healthy and just happy. I actually repurchased this at some point in time. So even though it's super expensive and it's one of those products I don't really want to recommend to people, I really enjoy it. And I was afraid that the concealer would be the same case. I've done a swatch in daylight. And something you'll also see, I have to click it now, but it takes a while for the first uh, pigment to come out of the pen now you'll see in the demo of the b-roll but also what I'm doing right now you have to go in back and forth if you want to get that medium coverage the first time I tried this I definitely did a very light layer and you could still see my skin underneath I definitely agree with them when they say this is a light to medium coverage it did say something about the finish something about it being a radiant real skin finish um, this does have a like a set down by itself, so it's not fully uh, skin alike. I would 100% agree that this might be a little bit mattifying. It's not full blown matte, but there are some mattifying properties to this. Now you're going to use, I would say, quite a bit of product if you want to go for that medium skin. Um, I like a bit more pigment underneath the eyes because I do have a lot of darkness underneath my eyes it's probably concealer is one of those products that i believe quite heavily in now like i said in this video i would have probably gone with a lighter shade as you can tell this is quite a dark shade and i can i can make this work for me but normally i would go for a lighter shade so am i a little pissed off that the shade matcher uh, gave me this shade absolutely for 75 euros. I kind of wish I didn't make this mistake If you hear something by the way, my dog is right next to me He's enjoying some quality time with me and my son is still watching Paw Patrol And you'll see my final product in the b-roll which is a little bit better than how you see it with me I didn't powder yet, but here you see kind of what it looks like after uh, a little while when I don't powder you see a little bit of that creasing I like to let it do itself setting a little bit. Then I'll go over it with my finger and then I'll use a brush to kind of put some powder underneath my eye. And it looks very natural. You'll see that in the B-roll as well. It is a very natural looking concealer. Now here are some of the good things about this concealer. It creases very minimally. 
I do set it at some point with my powder. I like the Charlotte Tilbury powder and it looks really beautiful on the skin. It's lightweight and I think if you have a lot of texture underneath or around the eyes, you'll probably like this formula. It reminds me a lot of the YSL Touche Cla. The YSL Touche Cla, it has more coverage. I think that for this price tag with this amount of product, the coverage is a little bit too low for my taste. I think an uh, expiration date of six months is crazy for this price tag, even with the whole skincare infused situation, it is just too little. It means you really have to, you know, make use of this product and imagine 150 euros a year just on concealer. It's, it is a price tag that's a little bit too high to recommend. Do I think it's a good concealer? Yes. I think the customer that would love this is someone that likes that more higher end, you know, uh, experience, that feeling, and believes in the Augustinus Bader, um, you know, skincare. It is infused with that type of skincare, and that is the reason why someone would probably pay the price tag and feel like it's justified. It's not a bad concealer by any means. Please, it's not a bad concealer, even though the shape match that I got is not a great one. Uh, I'll, I'll stand by and say this is a good concealer, but it's not a landslide uh, win compared to some of my other concealers that do very similar things. So it's not the most pigmented for this type of very sheer coverage. It's not the most um, skincare infused. For example, my Herborean has has SPF in it, which is something that I probably prefer it around my eyes. I would like to protect my eyes from the sun more so that I wanted to, you know, do all these other things. So time will tell if it does really improve my eyes or like my, you know, eye area within a few months. I might, you know, bark another tune, but as of right now, it is a good product. It is a high price tag and there is a specific customer for it, but I think the majority of you guys want to know if it's a landslide win. It, it is not. I have great concealers that um, this one, you know, I kind of just goes with. Like other concealers, they match the performance of this one as well, but they don't have this high price tag. And they also are not infused with the Augustine Bader like magic, but that is fine. Like my makeup is allowed to be makeup and doesn't always have to be Augustine Bader infused, right? So in that sense, as a makeup product, um, not a landslide win, but a good product nonetheless. Guys, I think this is gonna be a short video. I hope the B-roll helped, uh, especially with the swatch. Thank you also for kind of listening to me about my life. Um, I will do reviews, but they're gonna be, they got, it's gonna be a while before you see all of my reviews coming in. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you still like this video or like this video. Comment in the comment section down below if I forgot to answer something, cause I probably did. I'm here for you guys if you do wanna comment. I'll always comment back whenever I have the time. So yeah, my uploading schedule, I don't know what it's going to be like, but at some point in time, I want to do a full face of all the Westman Atelier products that came out in 2024, and of course, all the Lisa Eldridge products. I'm thinking about maybe using one of the Lisa Eldridge products today, um, but probably not for this video. Guys, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys the next time.